Hey, good morning. Chase here from Alsace Americana. Storefront's coming out. Not a storefront guy. Coordinated with them. He's going to have his guys over here. They're going to remove the storefront. I'm going to do an infill, tying it into the existing block work on both ends, drilling in some rebars, filling those cells in solid. I'm going to show you step by step on how this all gets CMU infill the right way. As you saw in the earlier shot, we have our rebars in. We're grouting those cells solid. Portland cement, about a 3,000 PSI mix. Make sure it gets down all the way to the bottom. We've been filling as we go, low lift grouting. We come back over here into the existing. The code for this local area is a double wall tie with two nails. Those are hip pins or mushroom nails, but you have to have two. Check with your local county, city, Providence. They all have their own little codes. Very particular as to how you do it. But you must tie, when you're doing an infill, you have to tie your infill into the existing masonry. Otherwise you could have a problem where this won't bond and it'll start shifting and moving. Maybe this comes this way, that goes that way. But when you do it like we're doing it, double wall tie, double hip bins, door wall. Now let's get into some basic techniques, right? I see a lot of different guys lay block. I see all different ways that they do it and let's just do it the right way the right way is to spread mortar and when you take your trowel you just want to do a nice even spread when you're Buttering the ears of the block, very important. Get a nice crop, up, come up like that on an angle. Make sure it has that factor right to the block. You want it, make sure it gets good and stuck. Always important to use good cements, good sand. Everything you see in today's video, the block, the sand, the Portland from Lafarge, the mortar, has been brought to us by All County Block and Supply. They're located on Lincoln Avenue in Bohemia. Great guys down there. Robert, the owner, really good guy. Pat and John at the counter. Phenomenal people. Stop in there, see them. Um, get them busy. Buy a bunch of block, bunch of pavers, whatever you need. Buy it all. And now you got your squeeze mortar. You take it away. You're holding your trowel on a basic 45. You clean everything up. Make sure you're good and level. I'm gonna go with another block here. And then I'll use the stability level. We'll get everything good and level. But that's very important. This way when you're jointing everything later or striking up as a lot of people call it, you know you have cement front and back. This is a cross joint. This is a bed joint. So basically what you wanna do, get your bed joint down first. Again, take the trowel on a 45, clean it up, make sure your joints are full. Before you get too far ahead, we're gonna take that four foot level by Stabilia, square by them, best levels in the business. You wanna have one of every size. And it, not just for masons, this one has the masonry guard on it. And the reason it does, is so you can level up your block just like that. I don't know, zoom in there, tell me how I look. I think I'm pretty level. What would you say? Even if you're not even a tradesman, say, say you just own a home and you want to hang a picture frame, Stabilia, it's where it's at. You'll buy it once, you'll never buy it again. These other brands, I can't guarantee that. You could be buying them four or five times. The next thing you realize, hey, you know what? I could have just bought that Stabilia once, but uh, don't loan them out. Tell your friends, go down. You know, Everybody's got to buy their own set of Stabilias. Quick recap, the door wall, the cells with the rebar are grouted solid. I want this nice and strong. God forbid a car comes through here, smashes into this. We're not gonna hurt anybody on the other side. We have the proper spacing. We have the proper tie-ins as you've seen in the other shot. We're using phenomenal cements by Lafarge. 
Those guys are great. Very reputable product. Never had any issues with them. Everything you see in every single shot today has been brought to us by All County Block and Supply. Great group of people. Again, Carl's from West Rose. And we're gonna get busy here. We're gonna keep going. And just so you guys know, I mean, this mortar on this trial, it's important because when you bring it up over your head, you need a good cement. You don't wanna wear your cements, but you wanna make sure they stick, grip, and do the job that they're supposed to do by holding the block together. Well, we got done with the CMU infill today, keeping the job site clean with a broom from Quickie. Over here where the wall's wet, you can tell it's been grouted. That's why these cells are wet, they're full of grout. Uh, I think earlier in the video I said we were striking this up or we putting joints on it. The gentleman that's doing the granite overlay stopped by. He said, nope, he does not want that. Just finish it off, float it, make it clean. Obviously we did that. We're grouted as per specifications. We uh, had an interesting little detail at the top and it's called a shoe block. So what you gotta do, we have to cut the back out, get underneath the steel beam. So this is where we have the fire rating to the inside. We have the piece of block come up past the steel beam. We uh, tied in with wall ties. And um, these are called uh, hit pins, mushroom nails. There's a bunch of different brands making these nowadays. Getting back to the CMU infill. We're all tied in. We were supposed to be tied into the existing block work. We made sure that this is grouted. It is. We had to do a little tie-in detail at the top with the shoe block to get the fire rating. That's all done. This work is going to be covered with granite. You're not going to see it. The inside has a framed wall in front of it. You're not going to see that side of it either. So we put a lot of work into something that gets buried, but I'm just passionate about what I do. I love what I do. And again, all those supplies today were supplied by Old County Block and Supply, Lincoln Avenue, Bohemia. Great guys, great people over there. You guys are awesome. Always getting me in and out of there. I'm never wasting any time at the supply yard. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And that's a wrap.